What's up, guys? It's Neon. I'm back with another video. Back with 2023 NASCAR Cup Series Kansas race reaction. What a hell of a finish. And holy shit, we have a fight to talk about. Well, I mean, more of a scuffle, more of a brouhaha, if you will. But still worthy to talk about. So we'll get into that momentarily. But make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. This will be one of the last videos I upload from this laptop that i'm doing this on um i have a new laptop it's been sitting in the box since i got it i just haven't done anything with it yet because i've been finishing up my online college stuff so i'll be getting that set up soon i do have both the parts two and three of the basketball, G basketball gm youtube series ready to go i just got to upload them um i have a bunch of diecast reviews planned but those will be done on the phone so stay tuned for those but Hopefully, with the new laptop, the quality of some of these on-laptop videos will look better. Um, but with all that being said, once again, like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And let's get into this. So, Wayne Byron, your pole sitter. Got loose. Almost spun out early. Recovers, but he falls back to fourth. Uh, Larson would go for a spin to bring out the first caution. Reddick tried to get between him and uh, Chastain. And Reddick made contact. And around goes Larson. We get green flag pit stops around uh, around lap 35 of stage one. Byron gets a speeding penalty, and then Josh Balicki gets a pair of speeding penalties because he sped on uh, his pa his initial pass through. Briscoe loses a tire on pit road, no penalty because he didn't leave. Well, actually, he was held on pit road or had a pass through, but nobody gets ejected because he did not leave pit road. So good on you. Byron gets in the wall, pits. Denny Hamlin will take stage one. Truex Jr. 2nd, Gibbs 3rd, Reddick 4th, Suarez 5th, Bell 6th, Wallace 7th, Blaney 8th, Chastain 9th, and Larson 10th. You wonder why Legacy Motor Club is moving to Toyota next year. Because at tracks like Kansas, Toyota is king. Kyle Busch gets a speeding penalty. Uh, Caution comes out for Austin Cindric, loses his right front tire, gets on the wall, later loses the wheel, have held for two laps on pit road. Eric Onrola spins off turn two, Caution comes out. Ty Gibbs with issues on pit road. And then we get a caution for Josh Berry and Eric Jones. Not the first time they'd have a caution, although both times they were separate incidents. Berry gets into Gibbs, who bounces off of Busher, back into him, and then spins. Jones spun on his own separately. Berry had previously made contact with Chris Rebell, and Bush made contact with Ross Chastain about the time the caution came out due to not liking how Chastain was racing him because Chastain can't stop making enemies. Or maybe people just need to fucking, you know, grow a pair and deal with it sometimes. Because Chastain ain't fucking wrecking everybody all the time. We'll be talking about him some more later. Bell brings out the caution, speaking of, late in stage two. Spins out, hits the inside wall on the backstretch. Done for the day. Uh, and then caution comes out on the backstretch uh, after the restart. Ending stage two under caution, Kyle Busch getting turned and slides into the inside wall, turned by Priest after checking up for Keselowski because Keselowski was on the top of a four-wide situation in front of Busch. And because of guys staying out, interesting top ten to close out stage two is Joey Logano wins stage two under caution, McDowell second, Gregson third, Jones fourth, Almendinger fifth, Busher sixth, Ty Dillon and Austin Dillon seventh and eighth respectively, Larson ninth, and win at tenth. Gibbs goes for a slide, almost saves it, but makes light contact with the inside wall, brings out the caution, may have gotten into Truex Jr., and then flat tires ripped the front apart, and NASCAR parked him. And so that's his day done. And he had a really good day, too. So, again, Toyota power, baby. Caution would then come out for Harrison Burton, spins off turn two, but doesn't make any contact with anything. Gregson goes for a spin and brings out another caution. Um, Suarez would get an uncontrolled tire, pa tire penalty here. Final caution of the race would be an Eric Jones spin. Josh Berry spun separately. And then, Kyle Larson, and essentially it turned into the Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin show at the very end. Larson takes the white flag. He was getting loose towards the end. Hamlin was trying to catch him, and Larson gets loose, gets into the wall a little bit on the final lap, and then on the back stretch, Hamlin makes contact with him, puts him in the wall, and Hamlin runs away with the victory, his first since last year's Coca-Cola 600. And then afterward, Ross Chastain and Noah Gregson got in a fight. It seems, look, from the footage I've seen, it looks like Gregson confronted him, 
Ross swung first and connected. Um, people are going to make fun of Gregson for fighting because of the haircut that he's got going on. Um, I, I have no idea why he has that haircut. It's kind of funny in a way. Uh, but this was going to happen eventually. Somebody was going to snap and confront Chastain. And Chastain has snapped in response. And there you go. I mean, look, I get it. Chastain keeps fucking with everybody. And as the old saying goes, you fuck around, you find out. Honestly, this is just who Chastain is. He's going to rough you up. He's going to run you hard. Sometimes he's going to wreck you. And he's going to win. Well, I don't think he's won yet this year. But he's doing really good in points. And he will get, he'll get back to victory lane again. We know that. So, I mean, at this point, he just is who he is. And it's going to piss you off. But... It's Ross Chastain, baby. So, with that being said, once again, drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, and I will catch you all next time. Peace.